Hey all, it's Sal. Hope you're doing well today. If you haven't done so yet already, please hit that subscribe button. Our channel is growing every day. Everything that I'm going to be speaking about in this video is included in my book, From Pre-Med to Med Student. It's a comprehensive guide for applying to and getting accepted into United States Medical School. It's available on Amazon.com, so please check it out. Without further ado, let's get started with the video. Now your undergraduate college will have a pre-med committee and this committee is usually composed of science professors. What will happen is that they'll make a composite letter from various different professors that have written you letters of recommendation and that will be a committee letter that they will send to the medical school. Now requirements for committee letters vary throughout the United States. Some colleges will require you to have a certain credit cutoff so you'll need to take a certain amount of credits before they agree to write you a committee letter. Other colleges will require either a GPA cutoff or they'll need to see at least four or five letters of recommendations from various professors before they decide to write you a committee letter. So for instance, you may need to reach out to four or five different professors in your college and say, hey, I need you to write me a letter of recommendation. I took your course during this time. And after you write it, it will be sent to the pre-med committee and they'll create a committee letter for me, which will be very useful for my medical school application. Now, another important thing is if you're doing a post back program or you're deciding to do a post back program, please make sure that the college that you're going to be doing the post back program at offers a committee letter. A committee letter is a very important part of your application. Some medical schools will even ask, why don't you have a committee letter? And you may have to explain it. So it's really important that you try to get a committee letter if you're considering doing a post back. Now, if you're not able to get a committee letter or let's say your college doesn't offer it, you can always submit individual letters of recommendation through the AMCAS system during your medical school application cycle. Now, this won't be as strong as a single committee letter. However, it is an alternative approach, but I would always recommend getting a committee letter over sending individual letters of recommendation. So one tip that I have for you is that please, please, please make sure that you have your committee letter written, ready, and available to be sent to AMCAS by the time the application cycle opens. Because a lot of students do this. The application cycle opens, they send in their transcript, their MCAS score is ready, but then, whoa, their committee letter is not ready yet. And this really delays your application. It could delay it as much as a month or two months even if professors haven't gotten back to you yet and the committee is still working on the composite committee letter. So make sure that you work on the committee letter early and often. Make sure you see your advisor often. Make sure you speak about it often. Bring it up often. So let's say that your committee letter is not ready until the middle of the application cycle. This is really going to hinder your application because other components might be ready, but a medical school is not going to review your application because you haven't submitted the committee letter. So please make sure that your committee letter is ready and ready to be sent out to AMCAS by the time the application cycle opens. I talk about this a lot in my book. So there you have it. That's what a committee letter is. I hope you found this video helpful. Please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. New videos are coming out every day. Everything that I spoke about in this video is included in my book from pre-med to med student. It's available on amazon.com so please check it out and I will talk to you in the next video.